Hello, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. How you doing? Happy Friday. Welcome to my channel. I am the Madonna Empress. Welcome back. If you're returning, we are family. That's going to be my new tagline. Like, <sighs> Anyway, let's get into your weekend. October 11th to October 14th for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. October 11th to October 14th for Earth Signs. What's self-care? Give me some self-care. What self-care do my Earth Signs need for the weekend? What self-care do Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn need for the weekend? Uh, come on. Taurus. Okay, well, Taurus. Taurus, you come out a lot. People need to, to be like you way more often than not. <laughs> People need to indulge in their five senses and indulge in their favorite things. I think that that's one of the things. I even have a tour, a Taurus student who I, she's even like that. Like, I admire that about Tauruses so much is that they are in their own way, like, literally and figuratively, like, they are who they are, they like what they like, they know it, they know it from a young age, they have an appreciation for what it is that they deem important, special, spectacular, what they need to get by, whatever, and it's like they build relationships with their favorite things and I feel like that's something that I even my student like that's something that I admire it's like she always knows what she wants to do she always knows where she's at she always knows what capacity like I, I was babysitting her right I'm sorry to be long-winded but y'all fuck with me right this is my channel um I was babysitting her the other day and I'm like, I want this little girl to go to sleep so that I can do readings while I'm here. Never did the readings, but whatever. Um, and I don't have to, you know, I just want her to go to sleep when it's her bedtime. So we're sitting on the couch. So immediately, as soon as her dad's left, she's like, I want to watch TV. Period. I'm like, okay, cool. So... We put on the TV and you know it's on for a while and she's literally just stuck in one spot, like just watching TV. Like, and I'm like, okay, cool. Like, you know, like I'm not bothered. Uh, her dad's ordered us pizza. We, we got the pizza. We're in the crib chilling. She, I sit down next to her now. It's been about an hour, an hour and a half since we started watching TV. We, we ate maybe two hours and I'm like, Let's play hide and seek. You know, I'm trying to like amp her up. Let's let's like like get her going so we can get her in the bed. And she's like, okay, but I'm not hiding. Long story short, we never played hide and seek. I read her a story. It was just 333 on the clock. I read her a story. The girl knocked out. I mean, I've never seen her fall asleep so easily, so quick. Never. I mean, at school, like, she's the, the, the kid that doesn't sleep. She's, like, kicking the door and, like, keeping everybody up. Like, so, her dads get home and they're like, yeah, she had a full day. She rode her bike. She went to dance class. She rode her bike all the way through Prospect, home, da 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 Like, she did stuff. And I didn't know that, right? But she already knew that. From the time that they left, she knew what she had the capacity for. She was like, I just want to watch TV. I did not know that she was wiped out. She told me I had to hide. She said, if we play hide and seek, she said, you can hide. <laughs> I'm not hiding. She never said, I'm too tired, nothing. And that's the thing about Taurus is they don't really give an explanation. They just know what they've chosen. Um, and it's like, that's what everybody has to deal with, for real. I said all of that to say, as stubborn and rigid and fixed as that energy is that is something that is priceless for a human that is a relationship 
that is priceless for a human to have with themselves with their life. Does that make sense? When you know who you are, you know your capacity, you know what you want to do. She's four. You understand what I'm saying? And for her to be able to connect with herself in that way. Like, I already know I'm tired. <laughs> and it's not a big deal. But I'm just saying, Taurus has a way of being grounded in their own self. And I just feel like Virgo, Capricorn, it's time. And Taurus, if you feel you haven't been like this, that means that you haven't been existing in your in your truth and it you know what I mean in it you feel like you've lost some kind of control and it's time to bring it back in and 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 be grounded and centered the thing is a Taurus I'm not gonna say never loses control of themselves but you guys are so good at like being you for real like I don't even know how to explain it all right so after six minutes of me just chatting I am worthy of luxury there is stability in taking time to slow down and break free from a fast-paced life. After all, the human experience is largely about being able to experience the world through the senses. Taurus is here to encourage you to indulge in your favorites, whether that's food, music, or movies. Your senses are tools that connect you with the rest of the world. Use this time to open yourself up to new things and adventures as well. How can I cultivate more indulgent experiences? And you can literally start by only indulging in things that you absolutely love. Absolutely love. Don't do it because you like it. Do it because you absolutely love it. And you're only doing things you absolutely, that you feel this way about. You know what I mean? This weekend, right? And we're, we're just talking about the weekend. I do feel like it's a mindset that you want to stay in for forever. <clears throat> but um, this weekend, I feel like this is something to think about. And this is a mood, a vibe to be in. Eat your favorite food. Eat your favorite food. Have the best dinner, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night. Like your favorite, the best. The, the, not just going to the corner store and getting a chopped cheese because you don't feel like cooking. Like, do it. You are worthy of luxury. If you want veal and broccoli and mashed potatoes, make it happen. Nobody wants veal, but you get what I'm saying. I don't know why I'm feeling so, like, cool. I don't know why I feel like, I don't know. Like, I'm, like, really, like, chatting with y'all. I feel like I'm, like, rubbing somebody on the back right now. Do you guys need love? Does someone need affection or something? I feel like I'm, like, guiding someone. I don't know, but I feel like, like someone who's listening is truly listening to me right now. And I, I'm recording, so no one's listening to me right now, but... I feel like this message will be received for some reason. I don't know. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn for the weekend of October 11th to October 14th. And I gotta hurry up because I'm actually not supposed to be going over 10 minutes in these videos, and I am. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn for the weekend of October 11th to October 14th. Show me Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn and how they'll be feeling this weekend. What's their main mood? Show me Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Three of Wands. So manifesting some kind of vision, putting a plan into action, making a decision to go in a completely new direction. What external influences are significant for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn this weekend? What else? What external influences are significant for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn this weekend? The King of Swords. So somebody wants to talk about love. Give me one more. What's coming toward Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn this weekend? Give me one more card. With the Knight of Cups to the King of Swords. Give me one more card. The Moon. <clears throat> Some secret feelings. 
somebody is secretly in love with you. Somebody, this could be a Pisces. Somebody wants to talk about a love offer. All right, what's the outcome here for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn regarding the Knight of Cups, the King of Swords, and the Moon? What's the outcome for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn? The Knight of Pentacles, period. So an offer is being made. And I feel like an offer is being received. It seems pretty positive here. It does look like somebody's dealing with some kind of anxiety, fear, doubt, worry around how a conversation can turn out. <clears throat> Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. For the weekend of October 11th to October 14th, we are clarifying for Earth signs. We're clarifying for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Why do Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn feel like the Three of Wands this weekend? Clarify the Three of Wands. Why do Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn feel like the Three of Wands this weekend? October 11th to October 14th. And that's too many cards. Two of Wands, Queen of Wands, the Fool. Somebody's ready to make a leap of faith. <clears throat> Possibly towards some kind of fire sign. An Aries. Somebody is ready to make a decision. Somebody's choosing. This is what I said. You're choosing. You're making a decision. You could be, you're making a decision to do something this weekend. This could even be... Um, I don't know why I always get this, but I feel like this could be starting a career as like a model, an influencer, only fans. This is something starting a career in um, some kind of art making a choice to like go down a certain path when it comes to your expression, your life, like how you experience life. <clears throat> I don't know my mouth and my throat. Excuse me, sorry y'all. But yeah, I see you, you can even be making a decision to travel to travel somewhere, a last minute decision to just get up and like go. Clarify this Knight of Cups. What's the Knight of Cups coming toward Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn this weekend? What's the Knight of Cups? High Priestess. So there could be a Pisces that's very significant for you this weekend. Again, I'm getting some kind of like secretive energy A secret crush. Give me more on the Knight of Cups to the High Priestess. What's the Knight of Cups to the High Priestess? The Ace of Swords and the Page of Coins. Again, some kind of truth. Okay, so somebody, I feel, is telling the truth about their secret feelings. I... I hate how like kind of like small that sounds, but that's really what's here. Like the Knight of Cups, the High Priestess, the Ace of Swords is like something that was on the hush is now being expressed, is now coming to light. Somebody wants to have a conversation. But with the Lady of Queens, it feels like somebody's planting some kind of seed. Like somebody's talking about their secret feelings and they want to start something up with you. Let's clarify this King of Swords. The Queen of Coins. Yeah, somebody wants to talk about wifing you up. Period. Some kind of commitment or some kind of... There could also be some kind of money deal, money transaction I'm, I am seeing here. Because th these coins keep coming out in the offer and the outcome. Yeah, this could be a conversation about, I don't know, leveling up in a, some kind of career job. Some of you could intuitively have felt this coming for whatever that's worth. Give me more on the King of Swords to the Queen of Coins. What's the King of Swords to the Queen of Coins? Seven of coins, yeah, about some kind of money, some kind of investment, about putting in some kind of work, waiting, being patient. Somebody, all right, 
honestly it gives stay at home wife somebody could be wanting you to stay at home somebody wants to talk about how they secretly like love you and they want you to possibly leave your job and be a stay at home they want to marry you they want to put you they want to put you up get put you in a home but they just want you to like take care of it they want you to have their kids with the page of coins you could feel like you waited forever for somebody to come in to have this conversation with you. Clarify the moon. So what's the moon coming toward Earth signs this weekend? What's the moon coming toward Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn this weekend? Clarify the moon. Hold on, one of my cards is flipped over. What's the moon coming toward Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn this weekend? Clarify the moon. What's the secret? What's the moon coming toward Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn this weekend? The Hermit. The Four of Cups. That somebody... Somebody went ghost because they were feeling discontent unsure the moon is that somebody could feel like you ghosted them because you don't like them or you weren't really content with them Somebody could feel like holding something in just was no fun. Holding something in, living vicariously, not speaking. They could just feel like that was like really just like that's what was making them feel so discontent with life or. Clarify this Knight of Pentacles and the outcome. What's the Knight of Pentacles and the outcome for Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn this weekend? What's the Knight of Pentacles in the outcome? The Ten of Cups. Something that makes you happy. A family. Working towards building a family. Justice. Yeah, marriage. Somebody could be proposing. A Libra can be significant. Give me one more in the Knight of Coins to the Ten of Cups to Justice. Give me one more on the Knight of Coins to the Ten of Cups to Justice. I said one more, and this is two, the Lovers. All right, well, it looks like somebody's making an offer. Somebody wants to get married. Somebody wants to invest in this. Some of you could be making this decision to go be with somebody <clears throat> somebody who secretly has been feeling feelings for you somebody who wants to tell you the truth somebody who wants to come clean about their feelings somebody who wants you to be their queen of coins their like loyal partner loyal companion this can be an ex here with the king of swords Could be a Pisces, heavy Pisces here. Pisces, Aries, Taurus, and Libra. Pisces, Aries, Taurus, and Libra are here. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, October 11th to October 14th. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, October 11th to October 14th. What message do we have? Pregnancy, someone is expecting a family, have their kids. Somebody wants you to have their kids, baby. Give me more, give me more. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn this weekend. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn this weekend. There we go. Water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Getting a new pet, giving a current pet more love. So pets can be significant. All right, y'all. Have a great weekend. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Congratulations on your pregnancy. Bye.